What's up guys, this is the speed art I said I would be bringing in the last video where I actually make the pan spray fully functional and that is what we accomplished. This is a 20 minute video condensed into 3 minutes so I'm gonna do some live commentary and try to add a few more things to the pan spray that I had in the things to add list that you guys may have seen in the previous videos and uh, yeah just to make this video a little bit longer. But uh, basically I'm just showing you guys the base script of what I had previously and trying to make it actually function the way I want it to, which the whole thing that I was trying to do was to get the element health of the vehicle and make it to where if it is at full health, which is a thousand, then it wouldn't take any money from you and it would say the vehicle's already fixed or whatever and wouldn't fix the vehicle because it wouldn't need to be fixed, of course. So that's basically what the function that I'm trying to create into the script now. And I actually like recreated the script, like a whole new script and all that. It was like crazy because I couldn't figure out why my script wasn't working and all that. Um, I think that was when I couldn't even get the money to like not take itself away, which I think I actually figured that out in this video too. It was all just a combination of one problem, which could have been solved probably really early on, but I didn't uh, really notice it until the end of this video. But uh, I actually learned how to use else if statements in this video and end statements, which is pretty cool. So all of this waste of time of breaking my script and having to recreate it and all that and even like create a new script and then go back to trying to create the old one and all that crazy stuff may have actually paid off because I think I really learned something out of this if anything because I had to go through so much stuff and even the stuff that should have worked wasn't working and I noticed that it was just a problem because I was like this thing should work this thing should work but it's not and the best I could get was actually it throwing um, like everything happening at once, restoring the vehicle, not restoring the vehicle, and saying I'm not in a vehicle when I'm in a vehicle, and stuff like that, so yeah, it was just a bunch of chaos and just nonsense, but basically what I ended up figuring out is uh, it kept throwing a warning message every single time I used the player as the element, which the original element is player, so I removed the player and stop getting errors or uh, warnings for it saying trying to get the player, like it would just go away once I made it player. So what I ended up doing, as you can see right here, it just says vehicle rather than the vehicle. So when I changed, I ended up changing like a few things to vehicle, but I didn't change everything to vehicle. But when I changed all of the elements to vehicle instead of the vehicle, everything started working. And that basically fixed my script. Of course, I added a few things like else if and the and. Um, so it's take away money. And if the vehicle is actually damaged, then it restores the vehicle. So yeah, that's basically what happened. I just had to figure out that I just had to use vehicle instead of the vehicle. It worked for one of the guys to use the vehicle. I don't know why. So it really confused me. But now that I know that, I know why it's not working and now it's working, so. Anyways, we'll get on to the live commentary and try to add a few things. Alright, so what's up guys, this is the live commentary part of the video where I show you guys that this pain spray is actually working. I know I kind of showed it in the speed art, but uh, I want to actually show it like in normal speed and I also didn't show that the not being in a vehicle works as well. Um, I'm actually not gonna add anything in this video. It might actually just end up being short because I already have like three minutes of filler with the speed art. Um, and on top of that, it would probably take really long to add what I want to add. So I just, whatever, just, just make it one video. But uh, as you can see, I have zero dollars. Pain spray is working, as you can see. Um, vehicle's not damaged, so what happens when the vehicle's not damaged? We go in here and we have no money. says your vehicle is already repaired. We damage the vehicle? 
Just need to be damaged, just, you know. Anything below maximum. Go in here. And... You do not have enough money for repairs. Alright, so what if we do have enough money? So it's money to... It's 400? I don't know. Alright, so now we have enough money. Go in here. Your vehicle is restored, and it's fixed. Go back in here, we have $200, and the vehicle is completely repaired. And... your vehicle is already repaired, didn't take my money away. As soon as we damage it... Your vehicle is restored, fixes the vehicle. And once more, as you can see when we go in here, you do not have enough money, will pop up, doesn't take the money away. The script actually works. So the only thing I didn't show in the speed art is that this still works as well. So if I go in here and don't have a vehicle, then it'll say you are not in a vehicle. So as you can see, everything works the way it's intended. Um, the only thing I might add or try to add um, that isn't confirmed yet is freezing the vehicle. So if I go into the marker, you can't move your vehicle. So I mean, like if you're, you know, if you like crashed your vehicle into the pain spray while you're getting repaired, I don't know. Um, I mean, I feel like you probably shouldn't be able to move your vehicle when you're in the pain spray. Um, I was gonna go as far as to try to add it. I think, I mean, I haven't played fucking San Andreas in forever. Um, but I'm pretty sure when you go in the pain spray... No, I'm sure. I don't know why I say pretty sure. Oh, I've played San Andreas before, haven't I? Um, when you go in the pain spray, it locks the camera looking at the pain spray, like the outside of it when you go in here. So then you're not looking at the inside of the pain spray. Um, so yeah, it's kind of weird to look inside the pain spray, because I'm pretty sure it does that even when you're not in the vehicle in the original game. Um, but yeah. And then, keeping you from being able to move your vehicle, because you shouldn't be able to move your vehicle in the pain spray if it's being repaired. Um, and then displaying the same text, um, on screen rather than in chat. Um... Yeah, displaying it the same way like that, like actually making it the pain spray, like in single player. Um, another thing I was thinking about adding that I've been talking about forever is so you can't do this when you're outside a vehicle. And then maybe um, making the marker big enough to where if you are not in a vehicle, then you can't like break it by doing this. Which I could easily do. I mean, I could literally do it right now. Um, which we might try to do. Ooh, broken scripts, no! So, yeah. So, the only other thing I really wanted to show was the, I guess, the script itself. So, as you can see, um, obviously I didn't use help with this. If you guys were paying attention to all of the videos, um, well, basically I didn't have someone else create the script for me. I created it myself, is what I'm trying to say. I, I did need help, I did take help, I did receive help, and it did help in the assistance of making the script possible. But uh, as you can see, the door is created, markers created, um, this is a script um, thing. It is just a true or false statement, which I used from my toll booth to make the door so it doesn't keep moving. Um, it only moves once. Uh, move time down, so it only moves, it moves the door down. Um, in one second, and then door down um, is how long it takes for the door to go back up. So it stays down for five seconds, which is the same amount of time that it takes to repair the vehicle, which is right here. Um, this right, it's a weird way how you like set the timer in the script. Like you do set timer function, and then you put the amount of seconds right here and then how many times it does that function. Um, so yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't really like that. It's just one of the really weird functions 
that you can use. So the function is repair vehicle. I don't even know if like this, the stuff inside this even matters. Maybe one day I'll figure it out if it matters. So if player is in vehicle, which ped in vehicle. So if the player is in the vehicle, which is ped in vehicle, um, and then the player. So if the player is in the vehicle, then local vehicle get the player vehicle, which is the vehicle that you're in, get the money. Um, so yeah, get the player money, which is used right here. If the money is less than or equal to 200, then wait, no. If the player money is $200, like less than or equal to $200, and the vehicle is less than fully repaired, then take the player money, which is $200, and then output your vehicles restored. And then the text, I said I changed it to like the player instead of the player, but I didn't really do that, did I? Whatever, it's just, uh, bleh. I'll just pretend that I didn't lie. Um, I'm probably still getting warnings because of that. I'm sure if I change all that, I wouldn't get warnings. Um, but I think I just left it because it doesn't really affect anything, like the script at all. Um, so fix vehicle, vehicle rather than the vehicle, as I was saying, all of these are changed the vehicle as you can see. Vehicle, vehicle, and yeah, those are the only two ones that have vehicle in it. So uh, let's go through this again since I kind of rambled. Um, set the timer, which is five seconds, down here to repair the vehicle. So if the player is in vehicle, then get the vehicle that the player is in get the money that the player has, if the player has less than $200 or equal to, no, if the player has more than $200 or equal to, and the vehicle is damaged, then take the money, output your vehicles restored, then fix the vehicle, else if um, the vehicle is greater than 999, which is maximum health, then it will say that your vehicle's already repaired. Else if the money is less than $200, then you don't have enough money for repairs. So I really had to like format this into a way that made sense. And unfortunately my brain doesn't make sense, so it took me a while to figure out how to actually format this to ma like make it work. Um, and then if none of those requirements are meant, then failed to fix your vehicle. Which means that you're in the vehicle, but you don't have enough money for repairs. And then else, which is the only else statement, because all these are else if. Um, if you're not in a car, then you're not in a vehicle, it says. And that all happens on marker hit, which is when you go into the marker. And then the function is repair vehicle, which is right here. You always use the function for this part right here. What the hell? It says vehicle now. Okay, there we go. Repair vehicle. Uh, it somehow changed the wording when I did this. Um, so yeah, and then the, just the function is just the door. This is literally how this whole function right here is... This whole function right here is how the vehicle is repaired. So this is everything that doesn't involve the door and the door moving up and down. And the marker, I guess. Though the marker is involved because you have to go into the marker to make this function happen, but yeah. Um, and then this is door to just, it's basically the same thing as my toll booth to make the door go up and down when it's supposed to. I'm not really going to explain that because it's kind of bleh. But uh, now we are on to change log three which is rebuilt the script in different structure. As you can see, it's not the same exact one as last time. Rebuilt the current script to function as needed. So now the script actually functions the way it's supposed to, which means the pain spray is now fully functional. And then add to video, show all functions including not in vehicle, because I didn't show that in the speed art. Um, things to add, which are the only other two things. Well, it's literally one thing to add because it's literally the same thing, is uh, make the pay and spray sounds to accompany the vehicle being uh, fixed. 
so that's basically the only thing that I really want to add. Um, and then maybe the things that I said previously. Um, but now I can actually show you the entire fucking alternate script that I created because I was so like, this isn't working. Um, actually, no, I think I was using this script. I think I just completely ripped this script, didn't I? Hold on, local money. If money, then... Else, uh, no, this is like the same script. Yeah, so th I'm actually using the rebuilt script. I didn't even realize that till just now. But this is what it looked like when it wasn't working. And then you can see, uh, see, fix vehicle, the vehicle. And you can see right here, fix vehicle, vehicle when it's actually working. Um, so it'll probably say that for everything. Um, you can see right here I use player instead of the player, but then I have the player everywhere else for some reason. Um, but yeah, that's the only time I actually use the vehicle, and the one time I use the vehicle it doesn't work. Because this is like a completely botched script, like... I don't know, like something happened and just like everything just isn't the way it's supposed to be. This wasn't how it was originally. Because it kind of looks just like this, but fixed. Um, so yeah, I guess I can't show you what that rebuilt script looked like, but I guess it kind of looked like the script that I'm using now. Um, and then you guys can refer back to... I guess I could just go to what my script originally was, so you can see what it is now versus what it was. Um, in case you guys don't want to go back and watch that part of the video and all that. But uh, yeah. So yeah, you can see the script works exactly how it is. I showed you the structure, I showed you how it works and all that, how I completely rebuilt the structure, um, rebuilt the functions and all that. So everything works exactly the way I want it to. And now I can show you this script versus the original script because I posted the original script to MTA uh, forums. So you can literally see what the script was before. Even though it's, I literally made it in my first video, but still. <laughs> so we'll go check that out. And show you the completely different structure that I used. As soon as the internet loads things. Or the uh, PC loads things. I don't know which. Could be both. But, uh, but yeah, unfortunately, like, showing you guys, like, the previous script, like, uh, didn't really look that much different, actually. So, I can literally go here. That'll take me to my thingamajig. Which will take me... Don't scroll down, don't scroll down. Just... Okay. Scroll down, anyway. Actually, I did tell these guys thanks for the help at the very bottom as well. So, I can't even see. I had, like, useless functions because I thought I could just make up functions or something. Where it says player money equals false. Like, I didn't even know what I was doing. Like, I was just so confused about how I could make the pain spray not take the money away from you. It, like, and make you negative. Um, if you guys saw my first videos, how the vid the... Player money was going down to minus 200, and it just kept minusing 200 over and over and over, and I couldn't figure out why, like, that was happening. Oh my god. So, uh, my original structure was, um, if player is in vehicle, then get the occupied vehicle. And you can see the vehicle right here again. <laughs> um... Fix the vehicle. If fix, then take the player money. Um, then say your vehicle's restored. Uh, this script is so bad. Um, then get the player money. If the player money is less than 200, then return false. I don't even think that's a thing anymore, is it? Is it? Yeah, I don't, I don't even think that's a thing anymore. Now that I, like, completely fixed the script. Like, I don't even use the return false anymore. Yeah, because I have no, like, use for it. It's just, like, if this doesn't work then it does this, which means it doesn't fix the vehicle. So yeah, I don't even use the return false anymore. So yeah. 
That's interesting. Return false isn't in this at all. It's just else ifs and else. And then and right here. So yeah. If player money, then return false. Else if failed to fix your vehicle, then give the player money. You see that's not in here either anymore. It doesn't give you money for taking money away anymore because if this doesn't happen, then nothing happens. Like It just says this, 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 or this. Those are the only things that happen. Um, and yeah, that just comes with restructuring everything. Like, um, just the way I structured it, that's literally all it came down to. Because in this structure, like, it just did everything. And... I don't know, like, it just did everything. That's all that... No matter what, it would take the money. Like, literally. This right here, like, this would always happen. Or wait. No, because that's less than, so it'd have to be great. Yeah, I don't even have greater than. Like, nothing happens if you have more money. I don't even know, dude. This script, like, what was I doing? I don't even know how I thought this made sense, to be honest. I mean, it all makes sense now that I figured it out, but holy... Because it's like, if the player's in vehicle, then the vehicle, get the vehicle, fix the vehicle. And this was the whole problem that I established in like previous videos as well, is that if the player's in the vehicle, then it just fixes the vehicle. Like, it doesn't even like care if you have less than $200, like the vehicle's going to get repaired regardless. Which means that it's always going to take your money. Because if it fixes the vehicle, which there's no checks for why it wouldn't fix the vehicle, then it's always going to take your money. So, it's always going to fix the vehicle, which is going to cause it to always take your money away. That's literally what it all comes down to. But yeah, it's a terrible script, and it was all a matter of a restructure. Players in vehicle, get the vehicle, get the money. If the money isn't there, or if the money is there, and the vehicle is damaged, then take the money. It gets fixed. If you have less than that money, or the vehicle is already repaired, then all of this other stuff below it happens. It's literally that simple. It's just pff, crazy. Straight up crazy. But, uh, let's see. I never explained this number right here. This number is how big the marker is. So if I change that... And I reload this. Restart... Pay and spray. Now the marker is a little bit bigger. Hold up. I think it's actually big enough, isn't it? Yeah, now it's big enough to where I can't break it, see? I can't go... No, I can't still break it. How big is the marker now? Yeah, this was the only problem, though. I can close it from the outside. And then break it like that. So let's see, like... I'll just say eight. Actually, if I make this zero, it'll be invisible. So 
So there you see, invisible marker. So pretty much like a regular pain spray now. In a way. But yeah, that's gonna be the video. Thanks for watching. If I add the other stuff that I mentioned as extras, then I will come out with another video. Otherwise, I might be working on another script for like, you know, another series of scripting stuff. But uh, thanks for watching. This has been quite a long video as I intended. And you guys get to see exactly how that works. You know, I get to show you the invisible marker, my previous script, my fixed script, why it works, um, that it is completely fully functional, and pretty much everything's working the way it's supposed to. Um, so yeah, hope you guys like this series. That I could actually ask for the help to figure this script out, um, make all of this happen and work. And it probably took about a month, but we got it. We did it. I learned quite a bit, and hopefully you guys enjoyed watching my progress with that. Um, if you guys have any ideas of other scripts that y you want to throw out there, feel free. I don't think I'm going to get some very good ideas because I haven't so far, but I'll take them into consideration because I only have a few ideas and I don't even know if I can actually implement them, so I'm gonna think of like the simplest ideas, as simple as this pain spray right here, um, that is basically in the base game. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can create some other ideas and actually implement them, and hopefully it's not as scary as trying to do this series because I was actually gonna stop after like the first or second video because I was just like, I have no idea what I'm doing after a while. And I didn't want to like make a video where I just didn't know what I was doing. Um, even the end of this was pretty tough because I couldn't figure out how to do what I wanted to to make it work the way I wanted it to. And fortunately, we got past that and it works. So yeah, that's the end of this uh, series. Unless I create the very last things, like the sounds and stuff, which honestly it shouldn't be that hard, so I'm probably gonna do it, but uh, if I don't then that's gonna be the last video, this one right here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.